subscribe to my channel and press bell icon for latest updates. Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghuveer. In this class, we will discuss about linear algebra basics required for logistic regression. These basics not only used for logistic regression in our next model, which we discuss is support vector machines. We use these basics for support vector machines also. In our previous class, we discussed about geometric basics and some of the terminology required for logistic regression. So please watch that class and come back here because we use those terminology here in this class. So coming to our concepts, the, uh, these are the concepts which required for our logistic regression. In order to understand this concept, we must, we just want to refresh some of the basics required to understand these concepts. The first concept which we have to understand is a vector in a two-dimensional coordinate system is given like this 2 comma 5 is a vector 2 comma 7 is a vector in two dimensional coordinate system in three dimensional coordinate system a vector in a three dimensional coordinate system is given like this 2 comma 5 comma minus 8 2 comma 5 comma 7 like that a vector in a two dimensional coordinate system is shown like this 2 comma 5 is a vector which starts starting point of this vector is 0 comma 0 ending point is 2 comma 5 this is shown like this okay it means a vector has to start from the origin is it compulsory to start a vector from the origin no it is not compulsory to start a vector from the origin vector can start in any point let's take an example pq is a vector its starting point is p 2 comma 5 and q ending point is 7 comma 10 the the vector pq is given like this pq bar is the symbol for showing the vector it is a vector pq is a vector that is given by q minus p Q minus P means ending point minus starting point. 7 minus 2, 10 minus 5. 5 comma 5 is the vector PQ. Vector PQ is given as 5 comma 5. So this is how we calculate if two points is given, how we calculate the vector is. So the, a vector is having both magnitude and direction. Magnitude means length and direction. Let's take this vector 2 comma 5. It is having length. It, it is having some length. How, what's the length of this vector? How we calculate that? And this vector is moving in this direction. So a vector is having a vector is showing both length and direction. How we calculate the length of the vector? Length of the vector is given. Symbol is given like this. Magnitude is equal to we calculate as a square root of two square plus five square. This is how we calculate the length of the vector what's the length square root of 29 so this length of this vector is a square root of 29 this is how we calculate length of the vector so the next concept which we required is equal to required unit vector is given as let's take a vector like this if the length of this vector is equal to 1 then we say that this vector is a unit vector this unit vector is moving in the same direction as 2 comma 5 it's moving in the same direction but the length is 1 if the length of the vector is 1 we say that it is unit vector so the important point we have to understand here is unit vector is identified if given a vector 2 comma 5 how we identify the unit vector is v divided by vector divided by length of the vector we call it as a unit vector so 2 by square root of 29 5 by square root of 29 this is unit vector which moves in the same direction of 2 comma 5 the important point we have to understand here is if a vector is given we can identify unit vector just divide the vector by length we will get the unit vector which is moving in the direction okay so coming to next important concept is uh, two vectors are said to be perpendicular if their dot product is e equal to 0. So u is a vector 2 comma 5, v is a vector that is equal to 5 comma minus 2. There, if these two vectors dot product is equal to 0, then we say that these two vectors are perpendicular. So how we calculate the dot product? u dot v is equal to u transpose v. u transpose means 2 comma 5 is transposed. 2 comma 5 will be column vector matrix multiplication is done here 2 into 5 plus 5 into minus 2 that is equal to 0 so these two vectors are perpendicular this is how we calculate the dot product of two vectors okay these are the basics required to understand our actual concept the concept which we have to understand here is let's take a three-dimensional coordinate system in this three-dimensional coordinate system 
let's take a plane in a three dimensional coordinate system in our last class we discussed that what's the equation of the plane w1 x1 plus w2 x2 plus w3 x3 plus w0 is equal to 0 this can be written in this format w transpose x plus w0 is equal to 0 where w is equal to w1 w2 w3 x is equal to x1 x2 x3 this equation can be written like this this we discussed in our last class so given an equation of a plane okay so this w we call it as normal to the plane what's the meaning of normal to the plane means normal means w is a vector normal is a vector that is perpendicular to any vector on the plane you take any vector on this plane this w is a vector that is perpendicular to any vector on the plane you take any vector on the plane that is perpendicular to w w is always perpendicular to any vector on the plane let's prove it with an example let's take an example points p and q are two points on the plane p and q are two points on the plane means p satisfies the equation of the plane q satisfies the equation of the plane when we substitute p in the equation of the plane we will get it like this p1 w1 p1 w2 p2 so on w0 is equal to this can be written as w transpose p plus w0 is equal to 0 when we move w0 to other side w transpose p is equal to minus w0 the same way substitute q what we will get w transpose q is equal to minus w0 so we have taken two points on the plane so we know that we we studied here what's what we studied here if two points are given how we calculate the vector given two points starting vector starting point is p ending point is q q minus p will give the vector on the plane because these two points are on the plane q minus p will give a vector on the plane so w is a vector if you do dot product with w w dot q minus p if it is zero then we can say that w is normal to the plane okay so when we say that normal to the plane w dot q minus p is equal to zero then we can say that w is normal to the plane how we calculate the dot product w dot w transpose q minus p this is written as w transpose q minus w transpose p which is we identified here w transpose p is equal to minus w naught w transpose q is equal to minus w naught means minus w naught minus minus w naught which is zero that is how we got it as dot product of w into w dot q minus p is equal to zero means w is perpendicular to the vector q minus p okay w is normal to the plane the next concept which we require for logistic regression is uh, let's take a three dimensional coordinate system in this three dimensional coordinate system let's take a plane in a three dimensional coordinate system this black box is a plane w is a vector that is perpendicular to the plane let's take a point z above the plane okay z above the plane the distance of a point z to the plane is given as d is equal to w1 z1 plus w2 z2 plus w3 z3 plus w0 divided by length of w this is how we calculate the distance of a point from the plane is calculated with this equation the proof of this equation we discuss in our linear algebra playlist if you want to go deep into the concepts of linear algebra please watch our linear algebra playlist and come back here so the distance is calculated like this this can be written as d is equal to w transpose z plus w naught by length of w and one more important concept we have to understand here is w is on this side w is a normal that is perpendicular to the plane if the point z is on the side of w then the distance is positive if the point is opposite of w means z1 see this plane divides this entire three dimensional coordinate space into two parts one is above one is below if the point is towards the side of w means normal to the plane then we'll get a distance as a positive if the point is below the opposite of the side of w we'll get a distance as negative 
based on this logic our logistic regression has been developed i'll give a small intuition how our logistic regression has been developed in our last class we discussed that we take th uh, our data in three dimensional coordinate system what our logistic regression do it will identify a plane that separates both positive and negative points how it will separate uh, how our logistic regression has developed is based on calculating the distance of the point to the plane so this is a point this is a point this is a point we can calculate the distance of this point to the plane how we calculate that using this formula w transpose z plus w naught by length of w based on this concept logistic regression has been developed we will we'll check how the algorithm will be in our next classes hope you understand the concept if you have any questions regarding the concept please post your questions in the comment section below the Thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates. Thank you.